HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, the web's secret tribe. Used exquisitely to create a variety of softwares from websites to web apps to mobile apps to whatever the hell this is. But can you build an FPS game with it? Well, we're about to find out. To begin, we're going to be starting off with a diff. We center that bad boy and then flip it over. We want the plane to occupy the whole screen. And to do that, we just simply add more diffs. Okay, plane's done. Now we need to work on the camera mechanics. I explained the concept in one of my previous videos on making Minecraft. So if you want to check it out, the link's at the top corner. But basically the idea is, since we're working with no engines, we're going to have to build our own camera mechanics. And by build, I mean imitate the behavior of a camera. So how does a normal camera work? It displays to the screen a certain perspective of the arena depending on where exactly the camera itself is facing and as it rotates the perspective changes. So a simple way to imitate this would be to rotate the arena itself in such a way that it looks like the perspectives are changing to the viewer. Now there are probably better ways to do this but honestly doing research can be a bit of a hassle especially when you're pretty much the only person dumb enough to attempt this as a project. <laughs> so in other words I really can't be fucked. Let's just hope it works. Okay, I really thought that one would work. Okay, so it's done. Um, I think it works decently. One thing to note is that I avoided using the grease for the rotations. I chose to use radians instead because decimals really come in handy when working with stuff like this. Mostly to smoothen the rotations as opposed to using whole numbers and having it look like crap. Next thing to do is working on some 3D modeling. We're not going to be working with too many objects so the game doesn't nuke my browser. So we're going to be sticking to just a few items. A building, a few boxes and uh, the gun. Okay, so I'm a bit thirsty so I'm just going to roll the time lapse while I go pour myself a drink. Be right back. Alright, now that's done, the game still has something very important missing, which is to be able to shoot things. That's the whole point of an FPS shooter game. Anyways, to do that, all we need is to create a function that randomly positions the enemies in the plane. The enemy positioning is pretty straightforward. In a 3D plane, there are exactly three coordinates, the X, the Y, and the Z axis. So pretty much all we need to do is establish specific enemy positions in the plane and just randomize where they pop in those places as they are being killed. My plan going into this wasn't actually to build a full-fledged game, it was more like an experiment to see if this was indeed possible to achieve. So back to our initial question, can you build an FPS game with HTML? The answer is no. Now you might think it's a yes because, you know, I was able to achieve this, but, but I can't lie, that isn't the case. There are actually a lot of reasons why this isn't playable. One of the major reasons being the entire game had to be built on absolute positioning. Now for those of you that don't know what absolute positioning is, just google it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, but jokes apart, what that means is the game would be completely unresponsive, meaning it would probably look like trash on someone else's device and most of the mechanics would probably not work properly. But regardless, I had fun working on it. The code, however, would be available on my GitHub, so those of you smart asses that are watching, feel free to use the code and hopefully prove me wrong that this is indeed possible. I did my best to make it as less spaghetti as possible so you guys won't have trouble understanding it. So um, don't forget to tag me if you do, I would really love to see what you guys come up with. Okay, I'm beginning to talk too much. Um, don't forget to like the video if you liked the video. Oh my god, I was so cringe. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Hopefully it's not been the next eight months. <laughs> Bye.